Today I'm going to be cutting open a bunch of little itty bitty baby geodes. So we have a ton of little itty bitty baby geodes that we're going to be cutting open today and yes, I had them stored in a tumbler barrel. And the reason they're in a tumbler barrel is because at one point I thought, I'm going to tumble the geodes. I never did that. Today we're going to do something a lot smarter and cut them open. And we're going to cut all of these little geodes open on my 6 inch high tech diamond saw with the thin centered blade. Ooh, those first five cut through like a hot knife through butter and I believe that all of these geodes are quartz geodes maybe some calcite but so we might get some quartz nodules in the mix with these oh I can feel a cavity <laughs> sweet oh that's awesome at the end of the video I am gonna look at all these one more time just as a group all dried up because I think crystals look a lot better dry. So I'm gonna have them all sit out and dry a little bit and we'll look at them again. But hey, we're off to a good start. And all of these were very quick. It took me a minute and a half. Oh, just a little guy, <laughs> barely. But it took me a minute and a half to cut all five of those on my six inch saw. Oh, yes, <laughs> pop the bubble. <laughs> that is so sweet. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all the water out of there. That is awesome. Man, that is so cool. Great little crystal formations in there. You wouldn't think it from this ugly little rock. <laughs> That's great. Put that one in the keeper pile. Oh, more bubbles. Oh, that's a really big one right there. That is awesome. Wow. I love the details around the outside of it here. That is sweet. Look at that right there where my finger is. That's cool. Crystals are awesome. Alrighty. Last. Oh, just a little guy. Very, very little. And... As mentioned, we're cutting all of these on my six inch high tech diamond saw with a thin centered blade. If you want to check out my saw, it is going to be linked in the description box below, as well as my discount code, which is Agadad. Get you 10% off accessories. So I'm going to cut the rest of these ones here, and I won't look at them. We're going to look at them together. So we'll cut these and we'll see you in a minute. Right. that was <laughs> three minutes and the first three were very very solid that's what it felt like oh definitely feels solid I'm gonna zoom in here yeah just barely just barely a geode oh oh just like I thought solid just a Pretty much a quartz nodule. Those first three were very, very solid. Oh, surprised actually. Well, that looks like almost like a square crystal. Pretty. See, don't they look better dry? I think I actually need to add a little water to my saw. Kind of felt like it was running out there. It sprays out a little bit, so you gotta keep adding it as you go. But these next ones here, these ones felt very hollow. <laughs> I say that and then I feel it. <laughs> That's really pretty though. My gosh. That's probably the prettiest one as far as looks go for the, the cut face. Man, that is really, really unique. It's like fossilized cottage cheese in there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This guy I think is a really good one. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> That is crazy. Look at how pretty. 
My goodness. I love geodes so much. They're so much fun. If you guys like geodes too, hit that like button. Help support this video. Really appreciate when you do. It's a really good one. That's probably the best one so far. And then this guy also felt like when I held them together like this, it kind of felt like it was open. Oh, it's not. What is that? What the heck is that? I'll have to try to get that cleaned out. That's weird. But so far, this is the best one. Hands down. Hands down, my favorite so far. I love that one. So we have cut 10 so far, and these are our next 10. These are some of the smaller ones. We do have some more bigger ones coming up. So let's whip through these little guys so we can get to the big guns. Four minutes of geode cut in heaven. Some of them are definitely geodes. Some of them are definitely not. Haven't looked at any of them. Let's take a peek at them. <laughs> Double geode. That is awesome. Oh, that is kind of milky in there. That's cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, that is so pretty. That's awesome. Oh, just a little little pocket in there. Oh, funky. Funky crazy. That is so neat. I don't know what that is, but that is awesome. That's so cool. Hoo hoo hoo. Like ice. Wow. <laughs> Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Whew. Wow. That is so pretty. Looks like a diamond in there. And our last one from that batch of 10. Oh, yes. That is sweet love how the light plays oh it looks like it's got like red crystals in there like geothite crystals or something i am not sure these are really cool very very cool so we have cut open 21 geodes for the most part they're not bad they're pretty sweet little geodes i really love them a couple of them are pretty intact like whole quartz nodules, a couple really trying to be, and that one really weird chalky one. I tried to clean it, it was really hard to clean, and I gave up. So that's that's as good as it gets. It's kind of interesting. If you know how to clean it, let me know. But anyway, I have ice cream to eat. And while I eat this and work on maintaining my dad bod, I gotta ask you a huge favor. If you are new to my channel, Make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button for more fun cutting adventures like this one. I have a ton of minerals and fossils to be cut and you don't want to miss it. It's going to be so much fun. Along with that, also going to get out and do some more rock hounding soon. And that's always a good time out on Lake Superior. So I'm going to eat this and then we'll get back to cutting geodes. <laughs> well, as they all went, 
Some were hard, some were quick. That one's pretty, pretty full though. <laughs> it's like the exact same as the last one. And the exact same as the last one. <laughs> That's actually really pretty. Love the white in there. That's sweet. Oh yeah. Definitely got some crystals in there. That's pretty. I'm trying to go smallest to largest. Oh, some more of that chalk. Some chalk action. I'm not even gonna try to clean that one. Oh, that is nice. That's so neat. Oh, sweet. That is awesome. Completely full, but it's got agate bands in the center. That is cool. That's one of my favorites. I'm kind of a fan of agates. <laughs> that is so cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that from one of these geodes. I know this one isn't, but that is super, super cool. That's a bonus. A sweet bonus cut. Oh boy. So I have cracked open a few of these before. The ones that are kind of betrayed like this were in hydro agates. Now we'll never know if this one actually was or not, but this one is sweet because it's got a great botryoidal pocket with agate bands around the outside. That is so sweet. Another one of my favorites. Is that chalk or is that just, that's just kind of full. A little bit of chalk in there. Meh. Whipping through these guys because there's so many to look at. Oh, I felt, oh, it's open. Oh, yes. Sorry. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, it's got a really, really, oh my gosh. It's like a double geo. Do you see the, the line here? Up top, it's got like a betroidal geode pocket. But then down here, amazing crystals. How does that happen? That is crazy. And then, gosh, there's two more. Let's check this guy out. Oh, that is so pretty. Huge botryoidal formation inside there, just peeking through. Oh, just missed it. Agate bands and all in there. Gosh, I want to crack that open. That is so crazy. That's a great one. I love that. I love these bonus ones with the botryoidals. All right, so this is our very very last one that we cut yes <laughs> ended on a great note look at how pretty that is and this piece can i get it to pop off do you leave it or do you it's so just barely on there oh that is so cool man we had some really great ones in that last batch really unique ones some great, great agate bands. Oh, that is so special. I think one of my favorite geodes was the, one of the earliest ones. This guy right here, and it's all dried off. You can see those amazing crystals and light. I love that. That is so cool. So all in all, I believe, dang it, I lost count. So all in all, we cut 33 geodes open. Some of them were a little lighter. Some of them were really, really amazing and they were all so different. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. I had a blast cutting those open. I'm so glad we cut them and didn't tumble them. And now that I have all of those cut open, I am gonna take a bunch of those and put them on my Etsy store. So if you wanna check those out, it's gonna be linked in the description box below as well as the saw that I used in this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and cutting open and exposing the beautiful details inside all those geodes. It was an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.